All right. Get in here. <laughs> Where you at? I just I sent you guys' name. Oh, I didn't know it was a name. They were just sending random bullshit. Oh yeah, just sending random bullshit. No. <laughs> really did. All right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to more Dando commentary. So today we have Slate. So. So we have Grass. Yeah, I don't know Greece. Some call him Greece. With eleven eighty four and Aries Brit with eleven sixty seven. So you got Harold. Yeah. Harold. Versus so, Greenwald. They're probably playing Harold because you can't play it after April. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, Which is good. Harold's a stupid deck. Yeah, I don't like Harold. I don't like any of those solemn judgment ass cards. They're a little bit too powerful to, you know. Put a monster on top of a solemn judgment. I think it's really ridiculous. You know, cyber cyber dragon is driving me crazy. Like, you didn't need to do, take it that far. It already got a decent structure deck, and you just had to crank it up to infinite possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> so he dropped that herald first turn. He tried to get him with that grand mole, but grand mole activated, and herald just like nope, negate and destroy. If it didn't say destroy, then maybe he could have you know, stayed on the field, but nope. Said destroy too. Like Carol is such a dick. Seven bit um, with that uh, Ben's ritual art. So I guess he's just gonna sit on Harold and you know negate shit. I don't know. I don't like Harold. I've never been a big fan of Harold. It's not even once per turn. It's just like just pitch a fairy, pitch a fairy, pitch a fairy. Yep. Negate you that. Negate that. Negate this. Negate that. Like. Well, I don't know the. Ari's guy has more, um, well, now he doesn't. That was stupid. What the hell? I was going to say he has more resources. That was, that was really dumb. Why would he summon his own monster to get Torrential? I guess he, he wanted to use the Torrential. Because it really doesn't seem like this other but, Herald opponent is really going to summon anything. It looks like he's just going to sit here and negate everything with a 25 that booty and then a that doesn't get anything. That doesn't get anything done, though. Like, Look, the guy had Manji right there. He probably would have summoned the Manji. Like, I don't know, if he just sits on stuff, that's fine. He's letting the other guy build up resources. I don't, know. I don't see the problem with just sitting. I don't see the problem with Ares just sitting. I think if the other guy was just sitting, that would be bad. But, whatever. I guess he's thinking the longer that he sits and waits, means the longer that his opponent sits and waits, which means the more fairies he's going to get to negate everything. And Clay, see that dark factory just reloaded his, his herald, so that's awesome. So this is psychics, right? That's what we're dealing with here. Yeah, it definitely seem like psychics. Both have pretty high ratings. They thought they would be using more competitive decks, but nah, it's not that bad. It's not that high at the end of the format. There's people that are like two thousand some now. And there it is. <laughs> Broke snatch. Damn, and he just scooped it up. He's like, you know what? I am not dealing with that card. Fuck this format. This is the last Dando commentary of the January format. After that. What's today's date? Well, today's date is the 28th and then the 29th, so. Oh, cool. So next weekend will. <laughs> Not really, but okay, yeah. Exactly, that's how I feel too. <laughs> you just saying GG just to say GG. Mm hmm. It's like saying the Pledge of Allegiance when you don't really mean it. Like, if you don't mean it, then don't fucking say it. How was that? <laughs> Really? Stop being pissed because of Harold? Nigga, fuck you. Fuck Harold, too. I'm, I'm glad that that can't be played anymore. I mean, you can, but, you know, preparation is just, ugh. Yeah, I'd, I'd say he's being honest, really. He really didn't get to do much. Like, just shut up, side, and let's get the game, too. It's good. I'm, 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 like I said, I'm not a big fan of them solemn judgment nest monsters. I don't like Infinity. I don't like Logia. I don't like anything. You know, if solemn judgment is banned, then why do you keep making monsters that have solemn judgment nest effects? I mean, sure, they're spell speed too, but damn. And at least make it, make it like you have to work more for it. Like Infinity, you just slap it on top of a Nova. Fucking Herald, you just fucking play advanced ritual art, like. At least make it worth more, especially when, you know, Manju and Senju are still at three. Um, I think that, I don't know, I think that Solemn Judgment should come back. So. No, <laughs> no, Solemn Judgment should not come back. Yeah. No, there's nothing healthy about Solemn Judgment. 
it's cool. Always act like you can always use it. And okay, it's, that's busted. It's a really good defensive card. But it's a really good offensive card as well. If you're ahead, are you saying if you're ahead and you said it doesn't assault? matter if you're winning or losing, solemn judgment can always be played. You can pretty much always cut your life points in half. So just like you can use solemn judgment defensively to block your opponent, your opponent can use it offensively to block any plays that you're going to do defensively. If you're ahead in the duel and you activate solemn judgment to stop their play, then, then you're still ahead in the duel. Like, you're still exactly. But now you're even further ahead because now you just stopped anything that your opponent was going to stop you with. <laughs> That's not bad. You're no, being, it's too powerful. You know, and especially since they give you that new Solemn card, like, you, we don't need it. Yeah, I guess Solemn Advice, you're, you're right, that's a good balance. It's balanced, yeah. but I don't know it's it. Okay. Well, just because no one's playing, it doesn't mean that, you know, we should bring Solemn Judgment back. Just because no one's playing Card Card D right now doesn't mean that we should bring Pot of Greed back. That, that, was, that was a really stupid thing for you to say. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Because that's your argument. No. <laughs> no, you're not right. Pot of Greed is not the same as Solemn Judgment. I, I, know, but, I said but... I was comparing contrasting Solemn Advice to Solemn Judgment as comparing contrasting Card Card D to Pot of Greed. All right. But the reason that doesn't work is because there's no reason for Pot of Greed to come back. Like, okay. Like, um... If there was like if, if they were if they were similar cards that would make sense, but whatever. I mean, I'm uh, just using that as an example that just because one the reprint the you know the reprinted redone version of the card isn't being played doesn't mean that the uh, the original version should come off banned. Like they reprinted it and remade the card for a reason the, for a more balanced you're version. Up, you're the one who brought up Song of Ice. Like I don't think that Judgment should come back because nobody's playing Song of Ice. I just didn't acknowledge that nobody's playing Song of Ice because you brought it up, right? So stop. <laughs> But um, I think that if you build up resources instead of them, you happen to, I mean, I know at, at one it seems kind of sacky, so I don't know, but at three it, it's terrible, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're right, but I don't know. Just It's just like if you build enough resources to be ahead and you have a song judgment to back that up, then you, know, you deserve to be winning. Because of solemn judgment? Because you build up resources and you happen, I mean, I... Happening to draw solemn judgment is kind of weird. But that's how one of work in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is stupid. Uh, limiting, I don't know. Limiting is kind of a weird way to hit cards. Um, but I hate her at it so much. Uh, I don't know. I feel like when cards are at one, they become like the sackiest version of the card. Because at that point, you know. Like Goyo, right? Like Goyo. When Goyo was a one, he was so sacky. <laughs> You know, I, it's just like when it's when it's at multiple. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I also don't think Ana should have went up to two, but that's another. Yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. You know I agree with that. You remember my bandless prediction? I fucking banned it. <laughs> like, honestly, it's just blatantly unfair. It's, just, it's literally like, hey, you know, are you using this particular attribute? Well, congratulations, you get honest. I, I don't know. I don't like that. I think it's kind of dumb, but. You know, we were just copying off of OCG, so we're like, sure, you know, well, OCG has Honest at 2, let's put Honest at 2. I don't like it, I don't like it, well, look, I don't dislike it because it's only support for one attribute, I dislike it just because of what it is, uh, it's a battle phase, like, sort of surprise card. Like, I'm not saying that, therefore, we need to ban Flute and Crane, I'm just saying that Honest is the most, is the most widely used out of those, and it's the one that is used in most decks, so... But I, but I don't specifically I don't specifically dislike it because it's only used in a couple decks. That's not it's not the reason I don't like it. Oh, uh, nice! That Nat Beast before he gets out the Herald is going to be pretty pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, the guy has another Honest. <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't. Cause yeah, just be a, like yeah. wow. It's definitely in the deck though. It's it's yeah one hundred percent definitely being played in the deck. So if he drew it, that Nat Beast could be going away. I must have missed it. How do you make another Gavillion? Uh, he brought it back with uh, Soul Charge. That's what I thought. Okay. And I said, when the card's at one, it's like, all right, well, now. Wow. Oh, well, that's it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Wow. That Herald of Orange Light, though. It's pretty. When the card's at one, it's like your opponent. Lost. You know your opponent only has one. So you feel like fucking. 
Oh, you salty. <laughs> you salty over Snatch Steel. Hell yeah. I was fucking, I'd be salty too. Like, I was fucking Snatch Steel twice. Like, of course. And then the number generator. Like, that, that makes the shit at one even fucking worse. Uh, stop. Stop. It exists. We get it. Oh, man. I don't like, look it. at this man. Like, Snatch Steel. Snatch Steel. Snatch Steel. Like, I don't think the limited over. cards, like, get drawn more, though. I really don't. I just think that. I don't know. You can stream them. <laughs> No, I mean, they're just ridiculous. I know. Whatever. All right. All right. Well, let's get another duel in. Be right back. All right. Welcome back. You got another duel. So you got Light Yagami at 12.55 versus Macro at 9.42. So I can see if Macro just set that Solemn Warning and then passed it. And then Light Yagami summoned that Thunder King and then got Solemn Warning. I think Solemn Warning should be banned. I, I could go either way with Solemn Warning. Yeah, we've talked about this before in other commentary. Yeah. I mean, we've talked about the whole Solemn Judgment, Solemn Warning thing before in other commentaries. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about limited cards in other D&D commentaries. You know, this isn't like, this isn't that big a deal. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I think that Warning is, is better because, um, you know, I mean, I know that, I know that, okay, maybe not better. But uh, I think it has a more powerful effect for less cost. Um, I don't like it. I think it's better to open up with. And uh, summons are really important to the game, so yeah. Uh, oh, and I think Thunder King could do it too. Thunder King is a very powerful better. card. It is. It has way they're... too many effects. It has way too many effects. Yeah, you're right. But like, other cards have way too many effects now too. So yeah, for its time though, it was, like the most powerful card ever. <laughs> So, do uh, you have anything to say about this uh, slate? Since, since, you, uh, since you hate me stating anything about number generators, so you have anything to say about this duel? Well, if he's running multiple limited cards, then he's going to open some of them. Like, some of them? Give him two. We need two. We don't know what the other four cards are. <laughs> I, fucking, out of the fucking four cards we've seen this duel, three of them were at one. <laughs> yeah. Well... We saw Deneb. Yeah, Rudd into Deneb is the only non factor of, li of limited cards. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> the rest of the commentary yourself. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the hell? <laughs> Seriously. That's what I understand where people are like, you know, oh, all the pro duels duel on, you know, the innocent. Oh, wow, he actually fucking left. All right. He actually fucking left. Hello? <laughs> all right, hold on. Wow. Wow. It... Oh, my God. Ridiculous. Why are you copying and facing? It doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Whether you negate the summon or, you know, the activation effect, it doesn't matter. You still got it. <laughs> wow, this man, he actually left. Wow, alright. He, he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not a believer. No, but like I said, that's the thing I understand when people are like, you know, well, all the pro duels, they duel on DN. It's just like, but when the number generator is such a major factor in, you know, the duel, how can you really tell? You know, I'd rather just, you know, sit across from you at a table at a locals and duel. This, this is interesting. Just a ton of limited cards. Like, wow. Everybody opened up with all the limited cards. This man opened up with th three. Like, holy shit. Seriously, is this duel going to continue? Or what's up? Just absolute stun by light over here. He, he is death noting it up. That's cute. Light, you know I mean? You get it? Yeah. You know what's also oh okay yeah it is it's done because it's Yusenji. You know what's also funny about the last name Yagami? It's I, I'm, a gay backwards. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> You're a mature. Are right, you looking at his extra deck? So Teller Knights versus. Senju, I, I probably have to give it to you, Senju, especially since he has macro up, like, yeah. He's gonna go ahead and summon that, uh, 
Wait, wait, you can't, wait, let's, wait, you can't. It's two beast warriors and this is a rock. You can't do that. <laughs> like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Damn, this man, this man fucking grabbed the tanky and everything. Sir, sorry, yeah, you can't do that. Alright, well, you can go into someone else. Yeah, that's a rock. It sucks that those are the incendies that you got right now. I mean, this guy, he's, he's okay because you can put him in, you know, in the pendulum. You know, and he doesn't turn, so... But you don't have another incendie, which means that, you know, you're not going to be getting your search on when you attack. Is this effect mandatory when it's guarded normal someone changes? Yeah, that's mandatory. So, this should be in defense mode. Now he's looking in his graveyard. I don't. I mean, I, I see a tiki. You're, you're staring at that tiki. You're like, I wish I had you on the field right now. So that was good that he saw the morning, uh, Marco saw the morning at tiki. I always think that solemn morning tiki is always worth it because he's gonna be way more trouble than it's worth the two thousand life points. Definitely, tiki is just so powerful. You know, a definite stun card. Sir, are you just looking in the graveyard so intently? Is there anything in there that you like? Okay. This guy. Alright, gonna go ahead and poke him for 15. Kind of three goats back. So, this is, gonna, this is gonna be a difficult one for Marco here because that's, that's this macro is gonna be hurting him, definitely. The, you know, his, his monsters are going to get banished, and you you definitely want your Deneb in the graveyard. Okay, if he's looking extra deck. No, I mean, if you commit to, like, a Castell or something, your Detaches are still going to get banished, so, you know, that's a definite problem as well. It's not like Defigure, where your, de when your Detaches go to the grave. Like, nope, they're going to get banished, so. What are you going to do, sir? Gonna go Vega, all right. I feel your pain right now, sir. Cause right now I have Teller Knights. Oh, I know, I know the pain. Yeah, I'm. I mostly have the deck done. It's not a really competitive deck. More of a fun-ish deck for right now, cause I haven't really picked up all the cards that I need for more competitive version. Alright, so I'll summon that. Oh, he's just gonna go ahead and secret move the... Uh... Oh, uh, that's right. So what's that? Was that what's supposed that? to be like some kind of prank or something? <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was just, no, literally I just turned off my computer. Like, I just turned it off. I just, I, I had to leave. <laughs> I like had to get out of there. <laughs> you just hit on me so hard. Did, were there any other limited cards after I left or no? No, no. Okay, good. <laughs> this man. <laughs> He's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> that was funny, though. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, he actually left. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was messaging you. Put hi in the watcher's chat. See if oh. you're going to pick up on it. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So, this, this, this man, light, I am... I'm gay. I'm a gay. Yagami? Yeah. Because light Yagami, but read it backwards. I'm a gay. <laughs> <laughs> he is just locking it down. Like, he is not letting Marco over here play anything. <laughs> Every time Marco does something, he's like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> the true power of a stun, uh, stun you send your deck. Yeah, I didn't think anybody played the uh, secret movie that people stopped playing the L, but this guy's playing both. Yeah, he's playing the left and he's playing the secret move. It's interesting. I bet you you're going to complain about how secret move is a solemn judgment card, right? No, no, no. They, they've been doing a little bit better. That card's probably like the most balanced of all the solemn judgment cards. Um, I don't know. There, isn't there like a solemn judgment card when you control the sanctuary in the sky? Mm-hmm. Like, what? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't like... know, like, 
Is that good or bad? Like, is that card good or bad to you? Well, no one plays the Sanctuary in the Sky if they played it, then it's pretty good, because that's your, literally your only restriction, your well, only stipulation. Um, uh, yeah, so the Sanctuary in the Sky is, like, a field spell that says uh, battle with fairy-type monsters. Like, if a fairy-type monster you control, damage becomes zero. So, like, you want to play it because it's bad. But um, there are, like, other cards that specifically say they're effectively activate when the Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field. No, I think uh, one such, of the most powerful as, uh, Sanctuary in the Sky effects is Earth. Earth, I was just about to say. So does Earth because um, it can search an agent, but when you have Sanctuary in the Sky, it can search uh, Master Hyperion. Yep. So uh, that's a really good card. And when Sanctuary, and actually, that's another one. Uh, Hyperion says when Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, it can activate his effect twice per turn, so he can pop two cards. Um, so I don't know. And then the, the so people, when uh, Uranus came out, they, that prompted them to start running Sanctuary in the Sky because... I think its effects can only activate when when Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, right? Yeah. I just don't yeah, think so that it's... anybody activated Sanctuary... I mean, played Sanctuary in the Sky is because uh, competitive decks, like back when, you know, it was like, you know, TG Agents, <laughs> no one ran Sanctuary in the Sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, TG Agents were a really good deck that worlds. Yeah, so when uh, whenever the competitive decks don't run particular things, uh, you know... People pretty much net deck, and they also don't do the same. Yeah. You know. I mean, I think the card could be done. I don't know. I'm counter. I mean, person, counter personally, I like it. Counter fairies ran it. Counter fairies ran sanctuary in the sky, and they'd um play the that counter trap obviously because it would net them pluses with their uh, what's his name? It's the one that's in that one pack, and it's like like fifty dollars. What's that card called? I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god, the the main counter fairy, the one that draws. Um, he's like fifty dollars. Yeah, yo, it's it's expensive. It's, it's like okay, I really want to see this out right now. Um, it's not fifty, but it's like it's like maintained a really high price uh, because it's just really hard to get. What's it called? Bound, bound, bountiful Artemis. Hmm. Is that the one? The one that draws? Yeah, it's sixty three bucks, I told you. Wow. Okay. Um Bountiful That's... Artemis from Dark Revelation four is uh, the lowest price on TCG player is sixty three. And that's unlimited lightly played. The lowest mint price is seventy six bucks. Holy shit. And then there's common ones for seventeen cents. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's I not thought that was it's like not... its only print. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not because it's um it's not because it's its only print, it's just because it's really hard to pull. Yeah, from the set it's a, Okay. It's a super rare from Dark Revelation Volume Four, so it's it's lowest mint price, seventy five bucks. So yeah, that's a counter fairy. It's someone that lets you draw when it's tra when a counter trap trap Yeah. Um. And then they also played, you know, just to connect it. Uh, there's Vandalgian. Um, he he just got reprinted in Astro Pack. So you know, if you guys open the Astro Pack, you're like, what the hell is this card? It used to be played in counter fairies. You know, so yeah. <clears throat> All right. So light. I mean, you gonna do something? Remember when Stellar Knights used to play macro? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. They definitely did. I I played it at a regional. That's crazy. They definitely made macro and deep figure. I mean, like they're acting like Altair, the most important card in their deck. I mean. D fissure, sure. Acro? I don't think so. Yeah, D fissure because when you detach the material, it gets into the graveyard and then you can revive it. But macro is pretty all encompassing. And like, like you, you agree with me that that Altair is really important to the deck, right? Of course. I'd say it's probably the best card except for Trivir. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I'm one to talk. <laughs> Why? I have Tony's right now. Oh yeah. Well, they're a good deck. I don't know. They're, they're once. Um, I think Shadals are going to be a little bit better this format than they were last format, like April, starting April first. Mm -hmm. So, I think they're actually going to have to play uh, Neff Shadal Fusion though. Neff, why? Uh, to go first and get out that Amalith as quick as possible against Necros, so I can go summon Shadal, equip it with uh, Neff Shadal, turn it into a Water, and fuse into Amalith as quick as possible before Necros get off. Because you really uh, can't, you know, Shadal fusion off of them. I don't. 
Unless you play a whole bunch of water monsters and open up that's with a, them. That's it. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I don't know how good that card is though. The water fusion. Uh, like I know it's I know it's a direct counter to to Necroz, but like. I guess you're right. I don't know. I'm I mean, just, that, I'm, that I'm just, should be I've just been seeing enough. people talk. I've just been seeing people talk about it, and they're like, the card is not not that good. The water fusion. So, but but I mean, but if it can lock out Necros, the top deck of the format, then. But I mean, then the the outs that to that card just the outs to the gin, lock. So, which everybody's playing, you know, at least three of. But you know, I, I, then again, it's only three cards. So yeah. whatever. Um, I mean that. I mean that's the best this is I can give Shadals when it comes to that matchup. You know, if they get out the same way with the Jin lock, then I'm not to tell you. At least they float drop it. You know, at least um, yeah, Shadals at least you'll get your fusion back. Uh, but yeah, actually they'll float off. They'll float off the the Book of Eclipse too, won't they? Because they get their effect even if they're destroyed by battle, right? Mm-hmm. Just when mm -hmm. they're sent to the graveyard. Period. Yep, that's pretty good. Construct isn't isn't banned here, <laughs> so and, and Shadow Games isn't at once. I guess the, I don't know. Are they gonna go back to playing Shadow Games or, or what? How are Stalls gonna play this format? That's what that's what, that's what I want to see. Right. That'll be cool. But yeah, I never actually I didn't even think about Nef Shadow Fusion until just now because uh, I've just been hearing people talk about how the Water Fusion isn't that good. I knew it was a direct counter Necro, though. Like I, I obviously read it, and the first thing you think is oh. But yeah, it has twenty seven right. attack, right? Yeah. Kind of sucks that it can't get over Val. Yeah, but I do think that's actually important for them to do. I'm I, what I'm wondering is what you know what water are they, are they actually going to run some water? Yeah. If is it, it is it worth it to run some water, or, is, or should you just throw Nefshadal Fusion in there and, and you know hope for the best? Yeah. Well, I mean, Treeborn is the only water that I can think of. It, it, it works re works really good with Etelli. Yeah, not Etelli. Uh, not Etelli. Econ. Econ. Yeah. Uh, it, it works uh, well with uh, the mathematicians that they play as well. You can send that instead. Yep. I don't think they're gonna play Sinister Serpent. Uh, you know what I was actually thinking <laughs> that they. You know what I was actually thinking that they might play. What? Fire Nice Hand. Yeah, that could work. That, yeah, a lot also of people played just to Gristal as well. Yeah, a lot of people played. Um, well, and then Volcanic Shells became a thing. But yeah, a lot of people played Fire and Ice Hand before. Before there was even a Water Fusion, just because they wanted to get Gristal because. Gristal is really good against Cleaver. Mm-hmm. And Fire and Ice Hand are good against Klee so as well, so... Fire and Ice Hand are great against Klee. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's just a matter of deck space, I guess. <clears throat> Wait, why didn't... Is there a particular reason why she didn't go back to the... Oh, she was being chained. That's right. That's uh, banished. Uh, Acro. Yep. Yeah. This man is having a terrible time. <laughs> I was, um, so, at the end of formats, I don't know if you know this or not, but I like to troll on DN. Not like, not like, you know, join games, not talk, but I like to play troll decks and shit. So I was playing, like, some Exodia and some, uh, some Reverse Burn and stuff. And, mm. yeah, so I don't know. So all, all the point I'm trying to make is that people are playing macro. And it doesn't really hurt me. I just noticed that. <laughs> I don't know. Because I basically will send you and they flip macro and be like, this doesn't do anything right next. Okay. But yeah. And Senju's kind of got hit as well. Who did? You Senju's. For. I don't. How? I don't. Vanities. How. I mean, yeah. Your Senju's a little floodgate thing. But I don't know. Your Senju's aren't good, in my opinion. They're just a slower place deck. I know someone, and when I did my uh, top 10 video, someone yelled at me and was like, oh, you don't think your send are going to be, you know, one of the top 10 decks? I'm like, no, not really. And yeah, Nim Nim fall off. Nim Nim didn't put your send in his top 10 either. Yeah, I don't think your send are good. Yeah, um, that, that vanities. That, I do, however. That vanities. I think Glads are good. Yeah, they do got that uh that easy back row destruction with the No, I really know, but, like, I'm serious. I think, I think Glads are a good deck. Like, I think Glads are going to be competitive i really do I, I just i really do i think they're going to be competitive tier two i think they're in the same line as like like clee <clears throat> i haven't seen glad at full power yet the return of glads i haven't seen it yet nor do i really want to because i don't like glads <laughs> well i don't know uh i wouldn't I, the only thing that i have a problem with is i was playing so they have the one that banishes a card right yeah 
Every time I play a deck that's graveyard based, I always go against Glad's and they always have that card main decks, and I always get like messed up by that. It always mm -hmm. like it, I was playing Monarchs and I get like, my Treeborn Frog banished or you know stuff like that. I playing you know. Well, are you still playing Monarchs or Treeborn Frog? This was forever. Same. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This was a while ago, but I remember on DN. Just I, I'm playing a I'm playing a deck that's graveyard based though. They have the one that, what's what's his name? Do you do you know what his name is? One of the banishes. Retari? Redieri. Redieri, yeah. I don't want to call him retardy. <laughs> Alright, is something going on in this duel or just watching nothing? I have no idea. This man is just taking fucking forever. Fucking light. Yeah, this is... Like, we're, like we're, we're talking more than even paying attention to this duel right now. Effect. It's a bounce. Okay. Is there anything in this graveyard to revive? Nope. There's a macro? Yep. That was pretty good then. Yeah, that 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 pretty much first turn macro is like locking it down for him right now. And unless he draws into an MST, he's gonna be in some trouble. Especially now since he has that karma guy just, you know, continuously bouncing him too. Like he, mm -hmm. he is not sitting very pretty. Does this does this video go up Saturday or Sunday? This is going up Saturday. So is that it? You gonna give up, Marco? Because at this point, I I just don't see it. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think late late you got or not late? Yagami, yeah, yeah, late Yagami. I don't think he has any merit. Very, uh, I cannot speak. I don't think late Yagami has very many aggressive plays right now. Um. I might be missing something, but it seems like he only has one monster in hand. Shit, Rageki. Right? And that, and that, now you go turn your computer off now. <laughs> oh, because of another limited card? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. All right, what are we going to see? There's, there's not really a rank. They're beast warriors. Oh, wait, what's the, what's this thing? The rock. The rock. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. So we can't even see... Uh, Tiger King or anything for uh Yeah, he tried to do that earlier in the duel. Go with uh Shin Shinchu into a Tiger King? Mm-hmm. Or you know. What's Kagatsuchi take? Uh Kagatsuchi? I think he also is, takes is he the one that uh, takes... Yeah, yeah, I think he's no, still... no, no, no. I think yeah, he's also Beast Warriors as well. No, he's not, um, um, because I, I know I know for a fact because there's Sukiyomi which takes lights or not lights, yeah, lights, yeah. There's Sukiyomi which takes lights. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. Kagusuji just takes Beast Warriors, and then there's um, and then there's Susanoa which takes Bujin. Because I knew there was one of each. I knew there was one of each. There was one that takes Bujin, one that takes lights, and one that takes Beast Warriors. So yeah, so Kagusuji could be pretty cool. Two five beater with protection. Mm -hmm. But I mean. Yeah, since it's a, it's a but uh, it's it's the milling thing. They don't really want to do that. Oh my god! Uh, Light, hurry the fuck up, sir. So now he just attacks. So Yosenju's if he was to exceed summon, obviously he he loses his opportunity for an extra normal summon, right? Because like the extra normal summon has to come right like immediate. It says immediately like like max C, right? Yeah, so it has to immediately. Come right after. Right after the the Kano one. Oh, cowboy. That's pretty good. Except, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. They're pretty much. Sure you know, has to get there's, over. No, there's no way he can get over the cow. Can you think of a way he can get over this cowboy right now? Like, if, like he, I if he has another Vega, if he can go Vega, you know, summon his Deneb, search Xe, and take it out. That's the only way I could think. He would still lose his. Uh, if he if he detaches, he'll still lose his back, huh? Rageki called it. Just just pointing out that I called it, and he ripped that too because you saw him shuffle his hand. You know he ripped that. <laughs> 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 that was hot. All right. So at this point, it's just best just to summon and beat. Start pushing for damage, Marco. Try to come back into the store. Um. I'd make an X seed if he has Vega. I mean, he probably doesn't, but like he can I, 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 I like what I'm saying is, I wouldn't just keep them on board because of damage because the other guy can just have a monster with attack that can just attack over it. You know what I mean? For 300 damage in the game. 
So um, I wouldn't necessarily keep two Stellar Knights on board just for damage. I'd probably overlay into something. Yeah, right now, you can't. If yeah, he has to search for Vega. Yeah. But like, but you know what I mean. If that guy has a what is it, Camera Three that has eighteen hundred attack. If he has a Camera Three, then the duel's over. Unless this guy has back row. Yeah, no. See, the duel's over. If he yeah, if he rips you, sends you or a tanky. Yep. So. Well, unless unless it's Camel. Well, no. Even if it's Camel One, they can just go bounce. So yeah, this the odds are not looking very good for Marco right now. Mm mm. Definitely not. Yep, that's game. Yep, that's game. And the Sujik to rub it in. <laughs> Sujik, is, Sujik is cool. I like Sujik. Yeah, that's game. Swift Scarecrow? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so. Play that fucking uh, Starlight. Why? What are you doing? Wow. He's, I'm telling you, he's, he's fear, fearing the uh, battle fader. So yeah. Scarecrow. <laughs> um, multi multiple cowboys, okay. Don't see Dude, that every day. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you surprised? Every Yosenji deck plays multiple cowboys, man. Nah. -uh. Well, he has it, but he can't play it. Oh. I'll say, even if he had it, you couldn't play it anyway because of macro. Oh. Yeah, that would be funny. Okay. No, but yeah, no. Every Yosenji deck is playing multiple cowboys right now, man. Because they can just go, they can just go four monsters every turn. Oh, uh, okay. So they just go so they attack, attack, attack. Yeah, they go summon, 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 summon. Attack, 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 attack. Cowboy, cowboy. Wow, okay. Did not yeah, know yeah, that. It's, yeah, it's not, it's no surprise at all. That's why ulti cowboys are so expensive right now. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to call it. So that was just, that was a duel. <laughs> just slow. Better than the other one, though. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> thank you, Slate, for joining me for like 80% of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, I had to That's... turn my computer off because it never turned. <laughs> that was funny. All right, mm -hmm. so. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and we will see you guys tomorrow with some more DM Do commentary. Alright, thanks for watching.